Welcome to Feel Good TV, the fun fitness lifestyle show. Coming up on tonight's show, we have a variety of fitness sessions, starting with sweat. Bondi Vixen takes all the mamas through a fantastic Mama Moves fitness session. Nolan joins the team at Iron Edge for an awesome workout, whilst Richard and I try a gym that's a little bit different, a rock climbing gym. Welcome, today here in the Sydney Indoor Rock Climbing Gym in St. Peter's. And this is not any ordinary gym with weights and machines in. This is a gym with lots of ropes and lots of colourful rocks on the wall. And this is Axel. Welcome, Axel. Hey, thanks. Yeah, I'm um, here at the Sydney Indoor Climbing Gym. We've got three styles of climbing. We've got uh, top roping, where you have the rope that goes from the bottom to the top. We've got uh, bouldering, where you climb short heights. It's all big, powerful moves above mats, so you don't have a harness or a rope. And we've got lead climbing, where you have to have your own rope and you clip in as you go. You can take some pretty big falls, but it's very safe, but it's off a different level of climbing. So we've got a number grading system. Uh, the easiest grade in this gym is 7 and the hardest is 30. The colours are not telling you how hard they are, the charts below are telling you on that particular climb. Sounds like a lot of fun. Joey and I are going to start to uh, see if we can actually climb this wall. Yeah, I'm sure you'll have a lot of fun. Let's go. Okay, so whenever you're climbing with ropes, there's going to be a climber and a belayer. The belayer is the person that's holding the ropes for the climber. So, when you're climbing, both carabiners go on your belay loop facing opposite directions. So, one on that way, one on that way. Do them up by screwing the gate all the way to the right and then give it a little half turn backwards because they jam really easily. It's really important when you start, make sure the ropes aren't twisted. Rope on rope creates a bit of friction so we don't want to see that. So I'll get you to belay first. As Simon goes up the wall, you've got to pull the rope through this belay device to keep his rope tight. So if and when he falls, he doesn't actually fall, he just sits back onto a nice tight rope. You're going to check his carabiners, so just give those two a little squeeze, make sure they're both done up properly. All right, I'm done. You got me? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right, Simon, fall off for me, please. Hold your rope down, two hands down. Let go. You <laughs> needed to check there, to make sure I'm all plugged in. I like the green. Why? Because they're easy. <laughs> Okay, I'm not going to Come on, Joey, to the top. Yes! Yeah. Right. Joey just conquered grade 12. So I reckon I can do grade 17. Are you ready, Joey? Okay, yeah, let's do it. Get going. Push up, use your leg. Awesome! Well done! Woohoo! Woo! Okay, I got ya. Alright, let's go! Um, so this is called bouldering. You're climbing without ropes uh, okay. above mats. So if you go outdoors, you bring your own little fold-out foam pads. Okay. Um, it's all about power. Um, obviously the climbs are quite short, so you don't need the endurance of climbing on ropes. Hey, what's the easiest one for me? Uh, <laughs> to go on. So start yep. with your feet here. And your hands here, and then off you go. Here we go. You gotta fall, you gotta fall on the mat. Not really from this oh. high. <laughs> no, it's too high. Come on, Joey. Come on. <laughs> go. Go, 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 go. Step. Go. Something that I love about Sydney Indoor Rock Climbing Gym is that these guys offer a school holiday program for kids called Rock Camp. So Axel, tell me, what do you do at Rock Camp? Um, we just try and take their climbing a little bit further than if they were just coming here for a casual visit with their parents or friends and stuff. We take them through some fun exercises and teach them a bit of technique and, and just try and make them into climbers. The easiest wall we have is over here with the balloons and the butterflies because it's, it's not vertical, it's a bit less than vertical so it's quite easy. Lots of fun, not just for parents, not just for adults, but also for the kiddies here. You can come down to Sydney Indoor Climbing Gym and have a good time. Come in. Hey Rodney, it's your surprise visit from Feel Good TV. Joey, good to see you, quick hands. 
So Rodney, I'm really impressed because the last time we made a surprise visit to you at your house, you were munching on pizza and today I walk in and you throw me an apple. Yeah, well, you know, I've made some changes in my life, some positive changes. I'd, I'd actually offer you a coffee, except we don't do coffee in the office anymore. Really? Uh, a bottle of water, perhaps. Ooh, I like it. A bottle of water instead of coffee. So cut back on the caffeine. Is that one of the lifestyle changes you've made? Actually cut out completely on the caffeine. You know, Joey, when, when we first started, I had these big plans, big goals. You know, I wanted, I wanted to get fit. Obviously, I was overweight and... Um, I've actually lost close to 14 kilos now. Wow. You don't actually know, but we had a spy cam out on you a couple of weeks ago when you were actually running up the Coogee stairs, and I was quite impressed with that. I did try. Um, I didn't make it all the way up uh, without having to have a bit of a break, and uh, I sort of felt myself get really sore really quickly and lose a bit of motivation. Um, I then sort of regrouped and worked out um, so I exercise, you know, 30, 40 minutes in the morning. It might just be, you know, going for a walk, doing some sit-ups, or just, uh, you know, going for going for a jog and then walking back because I couldn't jog any further. So it was it was small things, um, but in particular, it was my diet. I found that, you know, the biggest problem I had was because I worked such a busy lifestyle. I wouldn't eat any breakfast. I did very little lunch. I'd come home and I'd eat two family pizzas because I was starving and I was going to bed. And um, you know that was probably not necessarily healthy. Um, you know, a Scotty from First Grade Fitness that sort of took me under his wing and trained me initially. Um, we set weekly goals. You know, I've had people like yourself that have kept me motivated, and I think that's the key. The key is getting a good support group, getting good people, positive people around you. So I'm energised. I feel great. Uh, things are good. You know. On the weekend, I had my little niece's first birthday party. I spent five hours on a jumping castle, you know, wow. playing with the kids, having a ball. You know, that was my exercise for a Sunday, and it was fun. Uh, but if I keep you know, eating healthy, remaining positive, which is the most important thing, and having that good support base around you of people that support you. And I must say that the average Joe journey with Rodney, he has definitely received above average results. So well done and uh, congratulations. And it's so good to hear that you are going to continue your journey as well. I want to show you something now of where I am now. Compared wow. to where I was. <laughs> stand up, stand up, don't be shy. I had a kick, <laughs> I had a kick. I've now got a case. And beneath it is a six, six pack. I want you to take your best shot. I want you to hit me. I want you to hit me. I want you to hit me. Take your best shot. Can you feel it? Can I can feel, feel it. Abs is still. Abs is still. It's getting there. But it, it'll take time. It'll take time. But now I'm starting to feel really, really good and really, really active. So all I can say is get out of your comfort zone and just enjoy life because life is a gift and get active, get healthy. And you know, maybe in another couple of months, once I start to get myself a little bit more fit, I might be running one of those marathons with you. That sounds good. Now, congratulations, Rodney. I think this deserves a cheers. So let's celebrate. Cheers. Fix runs a program called Mama Moves and it's specifically for all the mamas out there who want to whip into shape, is That's that right? It. Absolutely, yep. Basically it's just fitness for mums, so I specialise in obviously outdoors, um, mums that have either newly um, just had a baby or mums that have actually stayed with me for a few years and they've already got toddlers, so I set out a circuit format so that they are close to their children. So they're always in eye view so the kids don't stress out. Okay. Um, and it's basically boxing, lots and lots of body conditioning exercises to get them strong on the inside and out. Keep it within the realm of their um, fitness level. And um, uh, there's a wide variety of fitness levels so they will always fit in somewhere. So a nice easy warm up, so just spread out. first class with Mama Moves. What do you think so far? Brilliant. I'm absolutely knackered and I think we're only 20 minutes in. <laughs> <laughs> Try to keep the back of the pelvis very steady. You're trying to balance a cup of tea on the back of your pelvis, draw the belly in. Reach and lengthen. What I love about this program is that you can bring the kids, all the kids can play together, they can hang out and there's no certain age they have no, to be. not at all. To come along as well. And um, it just seems to be like a beautiful social event as well as the mums interacting and getting fit. Yeah. It's like a moving mother's group, I call it. So instead of sitting down, eating cake and having a coffee, you're out here burning calories, enjoying the fresh air, um, letting your kids run around, enjoying the space. It's awesome. So 
there you have it. Here I am with Bondi Vixen. Jump on to meetyourpersonaltrainer.com.au where you can inquire and find out more information about the classes that she offers. Over the last few weeks, we've had Lara from the Australian Institute of Life Coaches join us here on the couch. And today, she's going to share some tips about how you can boost your business as a life coach. So welcome back, Lara. Now, can you start off today by sharing with us three top tips on how to boost your business as a life coach? Sure, Joey. There's three really simple things you can do. The first of all is to join the Meet Your Life Coach directory. That means that anyone out there looking for a life coach can find you easily and we promote you through the Australian Institute of Life Coaches. The second option is you can hold one of our life coaching cafes. Now we hold these on a regular basis right around Australia in all of the regions. The third way is to improve your skill set. So head along to startlifecoaching.com.au and the Australian Institute of Life Coaching has lots and lots of courses on there which might be able to help you run your business better, find you a complimentary income such as public speaking or writing, or it might just help you find new clients with a new skill. So by the sounds of things, the Australian Institute of Life Coaches is really the spot to be, not only for support, but for a network, a community around you, extensive learning programs, and most importantly, a spot for the public and community to be able to find a life coach. Definitely, that's what we're all about. So can you share with us now this hot spot of where we can find you online? If anyone wants to know about the Australian Institute of Life Coaches, head along to our website, startlifecoaching.com.au. I've signed a bit of a recovery workout for everyone out there that's been training pretty hard. Pick two of my favourite recovery tools that we have here at On Edge: the stick and the foam roller. All right. Seems pretty basic. So, sounds a little bit funny, a little bit weird. We're going to work with the stick. Pretty creative name for uh, this tr self-treatment tool. All I'm going to get you to do is start rolling down any trouble spots. I want you to get down on one knee and just take the stick and start rolling out the top of your thigh, your quadricep muscle. The next tool we're going to use is our foam roller. This is not quite as gentle because it's a little bit more intense, so I'm going to get you to have a sit on the, on the foam roller. Do you see it? Yes, please. Yeah. Awesome. We're going to look at the glute muscles that we've been working so hard. I just want you to bring your right heel up onto your left knee. Beautiful. And we're just going to roll out your right hip. So I'm going to come around this side. I want you to put your right hand back behind you and just roll backwards and forwards on that glute muscle. Well, the great thing about this is it's a really high density foam, so it's quite hard, but it does have a small amount of give. So as it rolls underneath the muscles, it helps break up the scar tissue, which occurs after heavy exercise. So this is actually a really important part of your training. It should be as much of your workout as, as the heavy lifting and the sweating. How do you feel? Mate, it just feels like, uh, I can say, everything's just been tenderized really, really yeah. nice. Everything's rolling out, so I get back that balance. Yeah. And with, with Iron Edge, they put everyone out through a full body workout, so it's important to get everywhere. You're absolutely spot on. So you can check out all these cool recovery products at ironedge.com.au. And uh, if you guys want anything on the programs that we're doing here with Iron Edge, you can also go to meetyour.com.au forward slash feelgoodtv. Mate, I feel absolutely good right Fantastic. now. Fantastic. Well Thanks done, so mate. Thanks so much, Chris. Too easy. Cheers. Thanks, guys. Have you dreamt about a career in fitness? Then it's time to stop dreaming and do something about it. The Australian Institute of Personal Trainers are running courses in fitness in your local area now. So start your career in personal training now by enrolling in AIPT's accredited course today. You'll be shown how to succeed in fitness, how to work flexible hours, and how to build a successful business. Numbers are limited, so jump online and register now at aipt.edu.au. On the couch today, we are joined again with Edwina Griffin from Fit Mum. Now, the last couple of weeks, Edwina has shared with us her fantastic online Healthy Mum program, and today she's going to tell us a little bit about the outdoor fitness sessions that she provides. So, welcome back, Edwina. Thanks, Joey. Now, tell us a little bit about the Fit Mum outdoor sessions. Yeah, the Fit Mum class is a, we have like a pregnancy one, which is the small groups when you're pregnant, where you're having a smaller class with a personal trainer in the parks and beaches, depending on where you are. And then for postnatal, when you're trying to lose weight, it's the stiletto camp for the Fit Women group. Stiletto camp, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. an incentive to get back in the stilettos. That's it, you know, back out in party mode and stepping into it. <laughs> 
Awesome. Now, are they group, uh, quite large groups or small groups that you offer? Um, the small groups definitely with the Fit Mum classes. The Fit Women Stiletto Camps are up to 12. So they're a bit, they'll be a bit bigger, whereas Fit Mum, you've kind of got maximum four to six. So tell me, if we want one-on-one -on -one attention, do you have personal training services available? Yes, we do. We have got trainers around Australia, Fit Mum trainers, and they're accredited with us, and you, they'll meet you at your house or at a park or beach. So you just register with the trainer wherever you're living. So what do you find helps people to get motivated? Uh, yeah, that's a good question, because after having a barb, that can be a bit of a hard one. Yeah. I find just having the group environments is really popular. Women love training in group, it's very, very motivational. And then we often have competitions and fun runs, and some of the adventure races have been a big hit lately. Now, if I wanted to join into one of these groups or fun runs, adventures, anything like that, how do I go about getting started? Yeah, so you go online to our website at fitmum.com.au and register for a trainer or a group there. Great, well thank you so much Edwina. It's been great to have you here the last couple of weeks. Jump online, check out the website and uh, be a fit mum. Welcome to the Fax Machine. Today I'm going to speak about the importance of exercise. Exercise has many benefits including internal and external factors such as increased energy levels, muscle mass, strength and self-esteem. It also helps reducing depression as the production of endorphins is increased through exercise. The National Physical Activity Guidelines for Australians recommend for people who are willing to be more active follow these steps. Step 1. Think of movement as an opportunity, not as an inconvenience. Get moving and take options where you can to gain more movement over another, such as choosing the stairs instead of the elevator. Step two, be active every day in as many ways as you can. Set time in your daily life to be active. Step three, put at least 30 minutes of moderate intensity physical activity on most of your days. Dedicate 30 minutes in your day for yourself, get active and exercise. So what exercise will you do to feel good? On the couch. This week we have Adam who's joining us again from the Strain Institute of Personal Trainers. Now Adam, can you share with us today a little bit about the actual program of becoming a personal trainer? Sure. The program consists of both a practical element and also a theoretical side of it. But the campus program itself really focuses on getting students industry ready, meaning that they won't require retraining when they graduate. So what they do is they work in a real environment with machinery in front of clients and they get a real life understanding of how the industry works. Every single, every single tutorial is a practical tutorial and as I said it's in front of clients with people taught by either the owners of the business or operational personal trainers. So then the students learn vicariously from these teachers as well. And what I like about that is it's from the word go where the students are actually in the environment learning and soaking up that information and seeing how every day really is going to work for them once they graduate. There's no better way to get an education than by getting right inside the industry and actually seeing how it works. Classroom based education we believe is not the way to go. Mm. We believe it should be done in a working gym by people who have had many years of experience as their educators. So Adam, can you share with us now, who's likely to come and study to be a personal trainer? Well, we have all types of students, from school leavers through to people looking to have a career change or even the older demographic. We have many, many students who are 16 to 18 who have just left school. We even have a 68-year-old who's become a student and all the way in between as well. So there you have it. The opportunities are endless at the Australian Institute of Personal Trainers. For more information about how to become a trainer, check out their website, which is aipt.com.au. Thanks, Adam. Thank you. Last week on the couch with Michael from Travelling Fit, we spoke about a place close to home, a marathon that is held here in Australia. Now today we're going a little bit further away from home to the Bank of America Chicago Marathon. So welcome back Michael. Thanks Joey, it's great to be back with you once again. Now tell me a little bit about the Chicago Marathon. Uh, the conditions are normally pretty good. It's about average of 18 degrees and it's a very fast flat course. So perfect for those who want to do a good race. So obviously if I'm going to Chicago to run the marathon, I'd also like to see the city as well. 
So is there anything that Travelling Fit provides where I can do a tour? Yes, we do, Joe. actually. We, um, we don't just provide you with an entry to the marathon. What we do is we package it all together for you. So we check out the hotels and we put you in some really good hotels that are very close to the start and finishing area, which is fantastic. Um, so you get a few nights at the hotel. Um, we can also do flights for you and bundle all that stuff together. But Chicago is a very, very big city and there's lots of fabulous things out. You can do water tours because there's a river running through the middle. Go to Wrigley Field, which is where the baseball is. Obviously, Lake Michigan's there, so there's a lot of different things. Uh, and for those that have never seen it, have a look on the internet. There's a picture of something called the Bean, which is an enormous big, uh, it looks like a jelly bean, but it's made of stainless steel. It's a stunning thing to go and see, right in the middle of Chicago. So there's a lot to do, and we can sort all that out for you. Excellent. So you can have a little holiday as well. Yeah, that's, a, that's exactly right. It's been so great having you here the last four weeks. We've spoken about the Great Wall of China, the uh, running in Paris, and also Australia Outback Marathon. And now we're talking about Chicago as well. And they're just four of the areas in which you can travel around the world, have an active holiday, and also an amazing time. That's exactly right. There's, there's nothing finer, I don't believe, than combining your passion for fitness with travel. You get to see the world, you get to be fit, healthy, and athletic all at the same time, which is just wonderful. For more information about Travelling Fit, jump onto their website. It's travellingfit.com. Next we're going to use the speed ladder, it's a fantastic tool to obviously speed things up. Your name's Ted. And the first exercise is going to be a get in, out move. You go through the whole ladder and you do it as quick as you can. And then after that you just do little jumps. Now we're going to use the batting rope. This is a fantastic exercise tool used uh, by professional top athletes, elite athletes, and as well now for us. It's a really, really good exercise for the whole body. It works your arms, your shoulders, and it's as well a fantastic weight loss exercise. So let's have fun with that. The first thing we do is going to be the double hand, we're creating some weight, and then after that, we're going to have the alternating one. The alternating one. And after that, we go down on our knees. Do the same exercise. Again, the alternating. Keep going, keep going, guys. Very good. And go. Five, four seconds. Four, three, two, one, three. Keep going, nice one, Joey. This is good, but it's really tough. <laughs> like, keep going, guys. On your arms and your your shoulders and it's a good workout though. Very nice. It's like good and pain. That's the way to go. The next exercise girl is gonna be take a wall. This is a really challenge. So I hope you're really 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 ready for something cool. Okay. Are you ready? First minute, and they're going to do lots of activities for three minutes non stop. <laughs> Four, five, Welcome back to On The Couch. Today we're here with Emily from Sonrisa and she's going to share with us about the real passion behind why she started out in life coaching. So welcome Emily. Thanks Joy. Okay, so i um, actually been suffering from depression for a few years and um, last year I had a, a nervous breakdown and um, I said to myself, well never again, I'm never going back there and um, trying to, to look for alternatives to just um, antidepressants and uh, I found life coaching and um, it really helped me and so I just wanted to give that gift to, to other people who were going through the same thing. Um, I actually started doing some workshops about something totally different but 
they were actually putting life coaching into it and I thought, wow, that's really helping me. And uh, what is that thing? And um, so I found out it was life coaching and then I started studying it. And um, so it's still helping me in my own journey, but uh, I want to share that with others as well. So tell me a little bit about Sunrisa. So Sunrisa is a life coaching practice. And uh, life coaching is about helping people who feel, st who feel stuck, um, be it in with their relationship, their career or in life itself and helping them to, to get that um, sense of purpose again and uh, create that, that sense of self-belief, basically. Great. You work with a variety of different people, different age groups yep. as well. Tell me about some of the success stories that you have from clients that you work with. I um, had that one client and um, she came to me saying, well, you know, I've been looking everywhere for someone to help me. And then uh, we just starting in just after the, the end of the first session, she, she had a massive breakthrough and followed up on all those actions. And she's now where she wants to be and achieved everything she, she wanted in that short period of time. Excellent. So with life coaching, it's not necessarily just about career or just about your personal life. Is it about the whole variety of it all? Yes, it's about life in general. So it can be your career, your relationships, um, anything the way you feel that you've got a challenge, you're a bit stuck, you don't know how to go about it, it's about all of that. Thank, Thank you. you for being with us here today on the couch at Feel Good TV. And for more information about the life coaching practices that Emily offers, please visit her website, which is sonrisa.com.au. To catch up on more Feel Good TV, go online to feelgoodshow.tv. Thank you to our sponsors, Summit Nutrition, Create PT Wealth, Iron Edge, and meetyour.com.au.